I'm not gonna waste your time. You wanna animate images like these? In this quick tutorial, you'll learn how to do it online without any animation skills. They are perfect for videos, for fun for yourself, or as music covers. You'll need a bit of practice and tutoring to get the most out of the website, but that's exactly why I'm here. I recommend you watch until the end of the video and don't click off the second the website's name is shown so your animations won't end up looking like one of these. Like and subscribe if you want to and let's get started. You can grab any image, I'll go with this one. I put its link in the description and in the comments as well so we can animate it simultaneously. The goal is to bring some life to the image. We'll make the background and the girl move a little bit in slow motion so the picture won't be so still and boring. Search up Runway and create an account. You'll be rewarded with some credits. Five are worth one second of animation. If you look at the dashboard, there are plenty of AI tools, but we'll use the image to video option. Upload your file and let's start the animating. Click on the breeze icon and now you can adjust the general motion. It determines how much your whole image will move. For this project, I'll lower it to one because the main focus should go to the character in the middle. Under the prompt section, there are the settings. Unless you have an upgraded plan, you won't have to do really anything on this page. You can describe how the picture should change, but honestly, it doesn't help too much. One thing you can play with is the interpolate option. I like to turn it off on anime style images such as this one, because it will try to make your character realistic. The next is the camera section, which is finally something useful. Here you can simply adjust where the camera should be recording from. If you change any of the settings, the transparent rectangle will showcase how the animation will change its POV. Feel free to experiment with them. One example of changing the pan setting is this video from earlier. As you see it gave us a pretty view of the city. Now we've arrived at the most important segment of the tool, which is Motion Brush. It is used to instruct the website to animate parts of your image separately. This is how we'll animate the girl's hair and body. Look at the right hand corner and click on the expand icon to make the picture full screen. I like clicking the auto detect area switch as well, so I don't have to manually outline everything. You can see five brushes. Using these, we'll have to highlight the parts that we want to animate individually. Let's start with the hair. Outline it. You don't have to be super precise. We won't change anything except for its ambient, which is the setting that makes it move realistically. I wouldn't recommend going above 3 because that will make the image have a lot of motion. Choose brush 2 and highlight her as earlier. Same thing, we'll just go with the ambient. With the body, it's important to stay under 3, otherwise the tool maybe won't generate because of the chance of it being NSFW. Let's make her lower body move as well. You know the process, I won't comment on this one. As for preventing the rest of her body from moving due to the general motion we set at the beginning, we'll have to highlight it. This time, don't alter any of the settings, just leave them as they are. This instructs the website to not animate the outlined parts. Good job, now we're ready to generate. Wait a bit and let's see the results. Wow, she looks clean. Her hair and body are moving as we intended. If you like what you generated, you can extend it by another 4 seconds. Also, you can reuse the settings anytime that you just set. Download the project and now you're ready to finally enjoy your animated image. Since it was AI made, you can try generating the same picture with the same settings multiple times and it will always be unique. And lastly, here are some of my failed animation attempts. 